Bent over rows, another great back building exercise. Caitlin's gonna grab, let's do both weights. She's gonna start in a standing position. She's gonna hinge forward to about 90 degrees and then she's gonna use her back muscles. 90 to, degrees? Well, okay. You could do 45 degrees. You could also do 90 degrees. I guess it depends on <laughs> the weight, the oh. size of the weights and how heavy they are. Yep, so that is one way to do it. She's squeezing in the center of her back, pulling the ribs kind of towards her, the ribs, pulling the weights towards her ribs and driving her elbows straight up to the ceiling. Can you hinge to 90 and do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's usually like when the weights are a little bit heavier and you're, you're trying to just kind of get them right off the floor and pull straight up. Um, go ahead and put one of the weights down. You do single arm rows where she's got a split stance using her opposite hand on her knee. Same thing, pulling the weight towards her rib and driving her elbow straight up behind. Yeah, other arm. Yep. You can use a bench to lean on. You could probably go heavier when you're doing it on I was the bench. Say, you can, um, when the weight's a little bit heavier, you tend to see a little bit of a kip motion, which is kind of almost like a jerk a little bit. Some of that's fine to do, especially if the weight is really heavy, as long as you're focusing on squeezing right in the center of your back so that you're hitting that muscle the, the proper way. Um, if your weight's a little bit lighter, I would do it more slow and controlled so that you're really making the muscle work with you, not, you know, just doing easy reps where you don't feel anything. Nice, nice, nice. So bent over, double dumbbells, single dumbbells, using a box, using a leg. You could also do them um, single arm while you're mm -hmm. holding two, but just maybe do one at a time or even alternating. I like to do this when, you know, I start with two and then the weight starts tired. to get heavy. Yeah, then you can move to alternating. As long as you're focusing on keeping your core controlled, nice and tight, solid core, you should be fine with these. If you ever feel that your back is pulling in a row, I would split your stance, drop to one weight, and support yourself by leaning on something or your leg. Yes. And the underhand row option is going to basically be the exact same thing that we've done, but you're gonna take your grip and you're gonna turn your palms out. It's gonna be a little bit harder. You'll probably have to go lighter on this, but same motion, your palms are just facing out. So it's gonna hit your muscles a little bit differently, hit the biceps a little bit more as well. You can do them single, single arm, arm same, same as the others.